In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to factor using the box method. To begin, we're going to multiply the first coefficient times the last number. I will refer to those as a and c. So multiplying a and c gives us negative 30. What we're going to do is we're going to look for two numbers that multiply to that number, negative 30. Then I want to find the same two numbers but I want them to add to the b value. That's the coefficient of the middle term, negative seven. So this may take some time to decide what are the two numbers that multiply to negative 30 and add to negative seven. In this problem, they would be negative 10 and positive three. Now what we have done is we've really found a way to rewrite this middle term a different way. So I'm going to keep the first term the same, 2x squared, and then instead of negative 7x, I'm going to rewrite this as negative 10x plus 3x. And I got those numbers from over here to the right. Then I keep my constant negative 15. Notice I have not changed the problem at all because negative 10x plus 3x does go back to negative 7x. It's very important that you're not changing the original problem. Now I'm going to move to the box. So the two numbers that I have in blue, the 2x squared and the negative 15, those two numbers are going to go here in the box. Then the two numbers that I found over here on the right and that I used for the middle of my problem are going to go in the other two boxes. And it doesn't matter where the 10x and the 3x go, I could put them there or I could change them and do the reverse. Okay, now what I do is I'm looking for a greatest common factor for every single row and every single column. So let's look at our rows first. 2x squared minus 10x. The greatest common factor among those two terms is 2x. Now let's look at the second row. The greatest common factor between 3x and negative 15 is positive 3. Now let's look at the first column. The greatest common factor between 2x squared and 3x is simply x. And then the greatest common factor between negative 10x and negative 15 Ooh, because that first term that I said is negative, I'm going to factor out a negative GCF. So that's going to be a negative five. And actually, our factors, we just read them off of our boxes. So up here on top, we have x minus five, so that's going to be my first factor. And then over here on the right, I have two x and positive three, so two x plus three is going to be my second factor. And that is how I factor 2x squared minus 7x minus 15. If you found that video useful, make sure to click subscribe right now so that you are informed when new videos come out to help you in your math classes.